Douglas, Arizona. We found the dang border wall. Check that out. These things are massive. So cool. So freaking cool. Got a warthog here doing maneuvers. Pretty cool. Can't find him. There he is. Going. There he is. Arizona. Can you believe? We're in Arizona. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, seriously. We're in Arizona. Look at this. Who'd have thunk it? I guess Janice jinxed us. She brought the stuff. It's chasing her. All the way from Ohio. Crazy. Heading out of Sedona. Oak Creek Canyon Bridge. Oh yeah, look at that.
some really monster canyon halfway between Sedona and Flagstaff. Do you know where we're at, Elizabeth? Uh, pretty cool. Grand Canyon, South Rim. We were just on a North Rim a few months ago. Trip's official. Standing on a ledge on a cliff. Look at that. Oh yeah. Get you some of that. Nightmare, guys. Gals. We got my girls here, and then we have some elk. Yeah, we got an elk butt. Elk. Everywhere. See? Elk everywhere. <laughs> Nothing like walking to an edge and having an elk look at you. Hello, Mrs. Elk, how are you? You know you're close when you can see the frozen snot on their beard. Right? Crazy. And notice behind me, we have the very rare wild genus on the edge of a cliff. You know, Glen Canyon Dam, Lake Powell. Good golly, look how low it is. Crazy. Smoky Mountain Road middle of nowhere between Big Water, Utah, headed towards Boulder. I love this stuff out here. We got like 78 miles of this stuff and I think we're about 18 or so into it. Heck yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about. Middle of nowhere, Utah. We come way out that bottom. Way up, way over there. And then we come all the way up and switch backs. And here we are. Heck yeah, get you some of that. Now we have to keep on going that way. Top of the world, middle of nowhere, aren't we, sweetie? I absolutely love this stuff. By far, if not one of my favorite things to do, definitely in the top three or four. Love it.
middle of nowhere. Listen how quiet. Ready? You can still see Navajo Mountain over there. She talks. Navajo Mountain's still over there. Oh, yeah. Navajo Mountain. You're all quiet. This would be a heck of a place to camp, wouldn't it? She thinks she's a jeep to get. Wow. We came from all the way down there. Put up a pile of switchbacks. In fact, you can see the road right there. See the road we were jigger jaggering all the way across there. Ended up working our way over there and across there, right up to here. All right. If you've never done this, you need to do this. This is called living, people. Smoky Mountain Road. The reason they call it Smoky Mountain Road is some ancient underground burning coal veins. Pretty cool. Here's one. One here. One up there behind the truck. Gosh, you can definitely smell the coal. Wow. That is crazy. Things you find in Utah, right? That's a marker pen. I don't want to get too close. Chalk that off the old list. Smoking crevice in Utah. Been there, done that. In the F-150. Canyon, Slot Canyon off the Bird Trail. Wow, singing Slot Canyon. Holy smokes, coming down Burr Trail that way. We're heading to Bullfrog. We're doing the stupid quota today. Look at this view. Look at that. 
spec. Spectacular, I tell you. Spectacular. All right, let's keep moving. We're getting our stupid quota in, Janice. Yep. <laughs> She's great to know. That's good. Look at this. Capital Reef down the Burr Trail, headed towards Bullfrog. Those mountains are the mountains that are just south of Hanksville. Hanksville is that way. Moab is that way. How cool. Wash the mud off the F-150. $10 in mud. Burr Trail switchbacks. They're down this direction. You can see it down there or not. We're going way out there. And then down canyon that way. And there's the old F-150. God bless the F-150. She's a Jeep this trip. Getting towards the end of Burr Trail. As you can see, but there's Lake Powell. Way down there. It's gorgeous. This Burr Trail Road, most of it is chip and seal. Besides the switchbacks. Heck, you could do that thing, Burr Trail. <laughs> you could do it, you know. As long as you had decent tires, anything. Look at this view. There's the mountains. Hanksville's up over that way. It's up that way over that. There's the truck. Alright. Gosh, these views. Love these cliffs. Alright, let's go down and find the water. Bullfrog, Lake Powell, we are on the boat ramp. Check this out. This is how low the lake is. There's the ramp ending down there. The lake's out there. And this is what's left of the marina floating out here. Isn't that crazy? Down here, I still got a ways to go to get to the lake. Technically, I'm underwater, and there's the bullfrog 
launching ramp. We were up top there. Wow. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. favorite gas station in the whole world. The hole in the mountain, Hanksville, Sinclair. I love Hanksville. It's my favorite middle of nowhere little town. It's on down that way. There's a great restaurant to eat right there. Oh man, the old F-150, she earned a keep today. Gosh, what'd we do? We left out of Page, went to Big Water, Utah. I went up over the hill. Long ways, hit some crazy stuff, some nasty roads, some mud, some snow, some cool stuff. Went into Escalade, uh, took $10 to blast off all the mud from my truck, uh, took nine and a half gallons of fuel, and then we went from there to Boulder, and up Boulder, we then rolled down the Burr Trail to Bullfrog, went down to the marina, and then come all the way back up, and we're going to Hanksville, Right now we're at Hanksville, and now we're getting ready to go to Moab and spend the night, and Moab's another hour off. So there you go, buddy. Hell of a day. Videos to come. Ah, look at the LaSalle Mountain sunrise. Made it up here for sunset. Rise. Sunrise. The hike in the dark up here. It's definitely interesting. It's funny. The cabin is actually back there on the mountain. Are you happy? I'm very happy. <laughs> That's good. That's awesome. Well, we're heading down. Goodbye, Mr. Delicate Arch. I'll see you more than likely in the summer. But it's a walk way up. We didn't come up this way. We came up through the crest and look. Look at this ice. Yeah, ice and rocks and ledges do give me the willies, I got to admit. Ledges and rocks don't give me willies, but when you throw this hard water on them, yeah. I might be going back the way we came up. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna quit video and, and walk. It's not bad if you stay here on this edge. Stay along the edge, Chicky. Stay along the edge. And it is sloped towards the rock, so but still. That'd be a solid three bounces off there before you hit. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. All right. I got the frog pucker like three times real quick when I, right there. That's the slick spot. Maybe it was smart coming up the way we see. Everything works for a reason. God pointed us that way. I'm glad we...
Do you be honest with you? Look at that mess down through there, Elizabeth. Look at that mess down through there. That ice. Part of me is thinking maybe we should go up and go down the way we came up. Or just suck it up. What part are you saying? Does it feel like we should? I think we'll be all right. There's enough other tracks. I just might hit my keister once or twice. All right. I think I think the snow is where the traction is. Right, get low, okay. low center of gravity, and you're gonna slide, and then you're gonna stop. So don't think about the cliff in front of you, just slide. See? It's not a cliff, but I wouldn't wanna go down over it. So there you go. Maybe this is why that dude in the tennis shoes went down the way we came up, he was probably thinking, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. Is, uh, this is a very interesting. All right, I'm done video. That was interesting. This is interesting. Okay, watch. This could be gnarly right here. Stay on the dry spots. I'm thinking we should have went the other way. This looks like it's going to be extremely interesting. I'll make it 100 foot. This. Okay. <sighs> we made it down the ice patch. We didn't die. Yay. Oh, life's good. I really enjoy the hike down. That hike up, not so much. Walking down the slabs from Delicate. Oh, these slabs blow going up. But this is gorgeous. That's snow. Good stuff. Good stuff.
Holy cow, everybody, it's Potsy. It's Friday night. Just got back from the 5,500 mile round trip with the old F-150. Yeah. Heck yeah, she's been to Utah six times. She's drug my Jeep out twice, Elizabeth's out twice, the big cargo trailer. You never know, she has 98,000 on her. Well, you know, I maintain the heck out of it. I have the local Ford dealership allowed to take care of it. They're always doing the oil changes and all the maintenance and all the happy stuff. We just did the 100,000 mile. Uh, before we out, went out west, we just did the 100,000 mile tune up, which changes all the fluids the diffs, the tranny, the transfer case, the, the brake fluid, uh, coolant fluid, all the filters, and all the happy stuff. And, anyways, uh, you know what's cool? Not only does she look good from this side, but she looks good from the underside. Because I am that particular <laughs> that I keep it clean on the underside. And I don't drive it in a lot of salt. I keep it out of salt. I did the Ford Performance Bullet exhaust on it. It's got the Ford intake. The leveling kit runs good. Oh, it gets great gas mileage. I mean, oh my gosh, we just did, we've been to Utah, we did 200, between 200 and 300 miles of DLM roads, off-road roads out there. Um, it's been all over the place. I use it, I don't beat it up, I use it and I take care of it. Um, love this thing, Lariat, loaded up, leather interior, memory seats, all the happy stuff, sunroof, air conditioning seats, heated seats, heated rear seats. I don't know. Anyways, 110% give a shit. Love this truck. Love taking care of it. But you know what? I kind of take care of all my stuff. It's got all the happy stuff. All right, everybody. Road trip officially over. Truck detailed, ready to go back to normal life. We'll see ya. Hello, Miss CEO. How are you today? My hair looks like a mess. I'm All right. red, though. How's the flowers out there? They're pretty awesome. The colors are pretty neat. Shall we go check them out? All right, let's do this.